So you want to go to space. Well, according to FAA regulations, each member of a space flight must demonstrate that they can withstand the stress of a space flight. My name is Aisha Bo. I'm a former NASA rocket scientist, a two-time founder, and I'm headed to space with Blue Origin on NS31, the first all-female crew. When I learned that I was going to space, I started to say, Aisha, what training plan would you put together that would further enhance the training that Blue Origin is going to provide so that you are ready for the day, so that you can relax and you can enjoy the experience of seeing the Earth from space? Well, the first thing I wanted to do was simulate high G-forces. I started by training in an acrobatic aircraft called an Extra. I loved it so much that I said, okay, why don't we try something faster? The next step was the human-rated, FAA-approved centrifuge called NASTAR. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'm basically giggling the entire time. Today, we're in St. Petersburg, Florida, where I'm getting ready for the first time in my life to step in a fighter jet. I'm gonna have the opportunity to see what it feels like to fly at super high speeds. Are you ready? Let's go. I got a fighter jet to catch. Launch is right around the corner. I have planned, I have prepared, I have prayed, and it is happening. All of the work is coming together. And today is yet another step on the road towards space. I'm here, I'm so excited, we're just pulling in. I keep trying to peek through to see if I can see the jet. Can't wait. Aisha. <laughs> Hi, it's nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Welcome to Aurora Thank Airspace. You. Look forward to flying with you. Got the plane ready for you. Oh, can we go see it? And we're gonna go fill it up. All right. Well, this is the plane we'll be flying in today, Isha. It's an L-39 Albatross. Uh, these were built in Czechoslovakia. They are used by all the East Bloc countries. It's a very excellent plane, good flying characteristics, and it's still in production today. It's used as a trainer and a light attack aircraft. Okay. But we won't be bombing anyone today. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set the ejection seat for your weight. It's important to adjust the rocket motor okay. angle, so in case you had to go out, you'd go out straight and not run into me. Okay, so this is like not the time to lie about my weight. That's right. <laughs> Finding out that you're also a Bahamian is like, like what? <laughs> hey, would you like to go on the hangar and look at our other aircraft? Yeah, let's. So how many hours do you have in this aircraft? Maybe about 20, not a whole, I got okay. 2,000 plus in that one. Is it similar to the, or completely is it just completely different? different? Completely different. Yeah. This plane is like, it's got 10 times the performance mm -hmm. and probably 10 times as hard to fly. Can well, I? Feel free to step up there. Right. If you want to go inside the cockpit, you're welcome to. No way! Yeah, you can go in there. Oh my gosh! 90% of astronauts have been met. We need all nations, we need all demographics, we need all people in order to accomplish the ambitious goals that humanity has. And in order to do that, we need to inspire people who have not traditionally been involved. That group includes women and girls. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna talk about what we're gonna do on the flight. We'll go over some of the instruments and controls in the cockpit. All the controls are in the back, are duplicated in the front, and actually some of your controls override mine. Safety is number one, right? and fun is a close number two. So I'm a flight instructor, so you'll have an opportunity to fly the aircraft. I'm do I have to? Can I just enjoy the ride? No, nope, everybody has to fly. Okay. Oh, everybody has to fly? Everybody has to fly. What? Since you said that everybody has to fly, so I'm thinking I'm gonna pull back, I'm gonna pull up, then we're gonna turn. Nope. Is that enough? Then can I give you the stick back? Oh, no, no, you'll be doing rolls. I'll teach it all to you. It's all very easy. Is your bank angles for turning. 15, 30, 45, and the unlabeled one is 60 degrees of bank. So you have to pull back and turn. You got vectors, yep. yeah. Horizontal and yeah. vertical component of left, and it's good to talk to someone who has a good understanding of science and engineering. Mostly on the ground, but today in the air. Oh. <laughs> Physics works the same everywhere. And this here is the stall warning angle of attack indicator, and if you get close to the stall, it'll say angle, angle, push, push, because you're about to exceed the critical angle of attack, and it's prompting you to push forward on the stick. Okay. I'll show you a stall. I fear stalls. Well, I'm afraid of the, stalls. Well, you have to confront your fears. It's like, but you get the feeling in your stomach? Yeah. Where it's like, yeah. ooh, 
You know, it's like the, the floor get, drops out of your you're tummy. Gonna, you're gonna get that feeling up in space. All right, we're gonna do our emergency briefing. Okay. And then we're gonna go flying. Yes. All right? All right. All right. Yeah. I'll take that for you. Thank you. That on, I'm gonna unpin your seat. Your seat's now armed, okay? Don't touch those ejection handles. Aisha, radio check. Can you hear me? Read you loud and clear. All right, Aisha, let's go burn some jet fuel.